Thank you. And Simone? Yes, I'm pretty happy. Um, I wasn't expecting to meddle. I just came out here and just tried to do a good beam set. I switched my dismount last minute uh, because of everything going on, but to have these two next to me, I meant they did absolutely amazing, and I watched them train so hard, so they are definitely deserving of one and two, and so just to have one more opportunity to compete at the Olympics meant the world to me. Um, so I had to be medically evaluated every day, and then I had two sessions with a sports psychologist um, from Team USA. But I've been training beam every day. We just last minute decided um, to switch the dismount, which I probably have not done since I was like 12 years old because I've always twisted off and done a full in since I was probably 13 or 14. Um, but on the beam, that work is easy. I've always been able to do is just coming off. We didn't know what we were going to do or compete in the final because I had to pull out of all of the other finals because of that reason. Yeah, well, to bring the topic of mental health, I think it should be talked about a lot more, especially with athletes, because I know some of us are going through the same things, and we're always told to push through it, but we're all a little bit older now, and we could kind of speak for ourselves, but at the end of the day, we're not just entertainment, we're humans, and there are things going on behind the scenes that we're also trying to juggle with as well, on top of sports, um, so yeah. Well, I honestly wasn't even expecting to medal on beam. I just was trying to go out there and hit a good beam set and compete one more time at this Olympic Games because I qualified for all five, for all five finals, uh, but then I pulled out. So it just it sucked, but I was excited to be in the stands and cheering for all of Team USA. Okay. I think she's absolutely amazing in everything she's gone through and come out on top. It's just inspiring to see. I know she's had a lot of injuries, but to see her at this Olympic Games and do so well, um, it was super exciting for me to watch because I've seen her go through all of those things. So I think she'll do really well in the next few years to come, and this is just the beginning for her. I barely got to do any finals, so that sucked, but um, we got to do team. Well, my one vault that I did, so great. Um, but then going forward, it was just kind of taking it a day at a time and seeing where that went, but for the other events, um, physically and mentally, it was not safe for me to do it because I could not do the skills um, without jeopardizing my health and safety. So, oh. not about everyone else. Well, the only reason why I could do beam was because there was no twisting. So thank God for that. Um, so that's kind of how. Okay, and you managed to make that about you, not about expectations. Right. Yes. Okay. Right, um, so I was FaceTiming with my family. They had a little watch party at the house. So it was my mom, my dad, um, my brother, my sister-in-law, my godparents. Um, so they just wanted to say hi and stuff like that. But given the time change, they're 14 hours behind. So usually at night I'll FaceTime them or in the morning. Um, so almost every day I've gotten to talk to them, which has been really nice and reassuring.